Hi guys, Andy Dramatic Aquatics and today the bush is getting shot. The wife's gone out, my mates turned up after seeing us on the video with the second tears. So now we're going to try and get this bush down before the wife gets home. Let's get it done. This will allow us more space to be able to get the car into this side of the garden. But I'm not sure if I'm still going to be a friend tonight or not. Here we go. And I'm going to put this camera down and go and drag these bits out of the way for a few. Someone's going to be in for a lot of bother tonight. A special thanks to Wayne. So all we need to do now is hopefully get some sort of gazebo for the car to go into, and then obviously build a pond out here. But the bush is gone. Let's get a crack on. So here we are, and it's a couple of days later now, and the time's come to eventually chop out the floor. Um, so I'm prepared with an angle grinder, and we're thinking instead of chopping a whole batch out, which needs to be clear. If we cut down here and here we might be able to fold these down towards making the like the channel for the water to come up hopefully being able to leave them on but if we try this first it doesn't matter if it doesn't work because we can still just chop them off nice and clean when it comes to health and safety I'm not the best bloke in the world and I've got no safety goggles um, so we're going to try this without any safety goggles but don't try this at home. So here we go. And it would help if we had some electric. <laughs> Give me two minutes. So now we've got some electricity. Let's see how sparky this is gonna be.
It is actually, whew, it's quite smoky in here. And there is a few sparks flying and I know I'm going to get major grief if we don't have some sort of goggles and um, all the spare parts. I'm just thinking, can I see through there? And the answer is yes, I can see through there. It's actually not a bad fit. Hang on a second, what else have we got? Is it the great part of, about this challenge is we're not allowed to buy anything. We can only use what we've got. So we're going to make some use out of this. I don't know what the fluid is in there. Hopefully just some sort of uh, washing fluid. Where there's a will, there's a way. And if there's one thing I know, it's to never give up. Let's just give this a little try. I'm sure health and safety would love me. Let's have a go. There we go. I've now got some safety equipment. Let's get this floor out. Squashing me nose a bit. But I can't actually see what it is I'm doing. How incredible is that? tight but it does actually work. It's going to take me a little while to do this. I'm going to come back and have a look when I've got the other cuts in. It's packed in. I don't know if it's overheated. I've been on about 30-40 minutes with this thing and it's just absolutely packed in. It's just not happening man. So what are we getting done? Let's take a look. Seems to have taken all day. This is only 30 40 minutes, and my ears are ringing, man. So we're getting down here, cutting down here, all the way to the front, and then along here, where we've come across a big thick piece of metal in there. And then there's also the fuel pipes through here, and this is where the grinder's just packed in on us, which is a nightmare. And the idea is that we'll just fold this down, and if that works, fantastic. If not, it doesn't matter. Like you say we'll just chop it all out as a perfect square. So, unfortunately, folks, because the grinder is still just clicking away, doesn't want to play. Don't know why it's done that. Like I say, it's probably just because I've had it on for far too long. But, uh, what a flaming nightmare. Leaves us with this little junior hacksaw. It's going to take us all night, which means that this video would be late. So, unfortunately for the day, I think that's going to be it as far as the car's concerned. Hopefully when Peter gets back tonight, I'll be able to borrow a large hacksaw and get the rest taken out. You never know. But for the day, folks, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, and don't forget, always use safety equipment. There's always something you can use somewhere. Thanks for watching. Good night.